While much of the focus has been on the race for governor in Virginia, the race for lieutenant governor is also heating up. The candidates are divided on ways to improve health care and how to handle the energy industry in the Commonwealth, among other things. 10 News anchor Patrick McKee explains how both candidates plan to lead Virginia if elected. In some races, candidates overlap on certain issues, but in Virginia's lieutenant governor's race, stark contrast can be found on most every issue. The Republican candidate, Jill Vogel, has served in the state Senate for 10 years. Her opponent, Democratic candidate Justin Fairfax, is a former federal prosecutor. Both Vogel and Fairfax believe health care is one of the biggest issues facing Virginia, but they have different ideas for how to improve it. Doing everything we can to incentivize people to have more choices, more people come to Virginia, more, you know, open up that marketplace, that's the better solution. While Vogel believes more competition is needed, Fairfax supports the idea of a single-payer system, but his first priority is expanding Medicaid. Medicaid expansion is critically important uh, to expand Medicaid for 400,000 more Virginians. Uh, it would create 30,000 new jobs. The economy has been a hot topic of discussion in both campaigns. When asked specifically about how he would help the economy in southwest Virginia, Fairfax said better workforce training can lead to more jobs being filled and the ripple effect of a healthier economy. With workforce development, uh, we can make uh, community college uh, affordable and accessible and apprenticeship programs available uh, so that people uh, in southwest Virginia and in all parts of the Commonwealth uh, have that opportunity uh, to get those skills and certifications and trainings uh, that will allow them to fill these uh, much higher paying jobs. Vogel, who was born in Roanoke, said she wants to boost agriculture and industry in southwest Virginia. So we should be investing in this part of Virginia again we should be deregulating some of the markets, especially agriculture, so that people can do what it is they want to do, like industrial hemp, which is legislation I've introduced year after year. Vogel also believes that the expansion of clean burning natural gas and energy infrastructure in Virginia would create more jobs. Fairfax vocally opposes the two proposed natural gas pipelines that would cross through the Commonwealth. In Virginia's political races, the issue of Confederate flags and monuments has been front and center. The violence in Charlottesville threw Virginia into a discussion of whether monuments from the past are a piece of history or a piece of dissension. Vogel denounces the violence that cost Heather Heyer her life, but finds the monuments to be an important part of the Commonwealth's history. That kind of hate has no place in Virginia and no place in this dialogue. But also, there's no place in the Commonwealth of Virginia for going through the Commonwealth and ripping down our history. For his part, Fairfax has concerns about what he believes are messages of division coming from Washington and Vogel's support of President Donald Trump. And I think that Virginians uh, reject it. Uh, I believe that we need leaders who are trying to unite us and not to divide us. Two candidates fighting to reach the finish line and find a home leading Virginia's Senate. Patrick McKee, 10 News working for you.